you know, I think we've all been here, that overnight thunderstorm. All of a sudden, a huge clap of thunder. And yeah, it gets dark and you hear that sound ooh, as the power goes out. That's when we rely on the professionals to make a speedy trip out to ensure that our power is turned back on as soon as possible. That's exactly what they train for at Delaware Electric Cooperative. As a matter of fact, they take their training to the next level. They send their linemen to the linemen's rodeo where their skills are put to the test. Now, we first told you about the rodeo a few months ago when Delaware Electric Co-op teams were training to compete in Virginia. They perform so well that they're getting ready for the International Linemen's Rodeo, as we hear from 1025 WBOC's Corey Phoebus. Folks, you might remember a little earlier this year, I came to Delaware Electric Co-op as the linemen were gearing up for the Linemen's Rodeo. Well, they've done well in that, and now they're moving to the International Linemen's Rodeo. Here with me again, Phil Collison. Phil, how are you, man? How's it going, man? So, you guys are back. You guys, you guys did it. You guys did well. Yeah, we did. Yeah, it was awesome experience down there, and uh, like I said, we, we trained for it, and we did it. And so. you did well. So yeah, we now did. you're moving on to the International Linemen's Rodeo. What does that mean? Just uh, we made it to an event um, where everybody from around the world is going to be there to compete, doing the same thing. Now, in order to go to the international level, is it do you have to do well at the one in Virginia? Yeah, you had to place in the top three. And you did down that. there, and we did that down there. Okay, so what does this mean for you? I mean, this has to be kind of rewarding, right? It was uh, no longer than we've been doing the actual climbing rodeo part of it. It was rewarding to to get this win. And you guys are still. I know it's a little rainy out today, but you're you're still training for this. Yeah, um, get a couple days a week, get our legs in shape, and then just get smoother doing everything what we do every day anyway. So knowing that you're going to the international linemen's rodeo, what's it mean for the co-op? Uh, just good representation, you know, uh, that they got a good training program, um, good teamwork, working together and doing things like that. Now the facility itself, I mean, it's pretty, pretty in depth. You guys have the poles, you guys have the wires, you have the trucks out here. You can see the guys behind us are kind of getting ready to climb this pole. Uh, is this something that, that the co-op has been able to provide for you guys and, and love doing it? Uh, since I've been here, yeah, we've had this part of the training yard since I came here. Yeah. All right. Now, finally, what's this mean for the consumer? Hopefully just reassurance that uh, we're doing our job and, and practicing to do it better every day. Fantastic. So uh, in, in the future, are you guys going to continue to train and, and go for the top three positions? As long as our board and, and the members say we can do it, we're going to try and do it. All right, man. Well, super proud of you guys. Great. Best of luck. And when is the date? The 19th, right? The 19th, October 19th. How can we see it? How can we watch it? We're not sure. We haven't found a lot on YouTube, so it's <laughs> okay. pretty secretive. <laughs> <laughs> so keep your eyes peeled October 19th for the International Lineman's Rodeo. Our friends at Delaware Electric Co-op will be there giving their best. Phil, thank you so much. Appreciate it, man. All right, back to you guys. You know, that doesn't look like an easy job. That takes a little bit of, well, a lot of strength. Of strength and courage. It, it's fascinating to me that one of their events, if I remember correctly, is a rescue. If something happens to another lineman up the top of the pole, how are they going to get him down quickly and safely? Hmm. So it's it's great job, guys. Thank you so much yeah. for everything you do. And we'll follow the Delaware Electric Co-op team's progress and let you know how they made out.